really good start tonight. Um, I thought we were uh, hats off to Dane Deja, uh, in my opinion, player of the game. Uh, just his presence, uh, rim running. Uh, I thought he really controlled the paint. You you partner him with with Quincy and uh, 15 rebounds. Um, you know, kind of a unique night, I think, for Terrence. I don't think he had a point paint. Point paint point. Let me get that right. And uh, yeah, it was still equally as as, as productive. Um, but uh, you know, I, things change for us when Dane's putting pressure on the front of the rim with his speed and his running. Um, you know, Amani's always been very good at that. Uh, even though Amani's line doesn't show a you know a big a big night, his 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 presence at the front of the rim opens things up. Uh, I thought Ty Rogers was fantastic, especially early. Uh, just getting the ball into the paint. We knew this team collapsed uh, very hard. Um, and uh, you know, our kickouts, spraying the ball, um, were great. Luke, Luke got going, and, and again, he's one of the top three-point shooters in the country. Uh, so we're always, you know, our guys are starting to understand and look for him um, as well. But uh, uh, Justin Harmon, I thought, came in and, and was really, really solid, especially on the defensive side, which is what we need. But uh, uh, Chad's got a nice group. They're athletic. Um, you know, I thought we were a little soft at times in terms of rebounding the basketball. We had a couple balls knocked out of our hand. But um, we did what we had to, you know, and great, got off to a great start and, and uh, uh, kind of controlled things from there. <clears throat> Brett, Ty said, Everybody on this team wants to defend. Are you seeing what you need to see out of your defense heading into this big three-game stretch ahead? Yeah, we're getting better every day. You know, and every game's presented itself with a little bit of a different hiccup. You know, you know, the, tonight we I thought we got ripped a little bit soft on a couple of switches, and their kid jumped up and made a couple threes. Well, you know, we're going to see that, uh, you know, in, in upcoming games. Um, but I think our execution of what we're trying to do, you know, we wanted to get into what, you know, one of our ices tonight, keeping the ball on the sideline. They play a lot in the outside thirds, trying to get the ball to the middle of the floor. Uh, one of the things we wanted to do is try to take that away. Uh, I thought we did a really good job of that. I thought Dane was very active um, in our ball screen coverages. So we're getting there. Um, you know, like I said, it's no knock on the last three. Um, but um, um, you know we're gonna take a little step up here and, and uh, you know get back to that Kansas Marquette caliber. So, uh, but I do think we've got a chance defensively to be pretty special and are becoming that. Western started the second half pretty well. Just what maybe kicked back into your gear for your guys to weather that and push through? You know, I think 40 minutes is pretty hard to just be a dominant. You know, team. I thought we, you know, I thought we got a good look to start the half, and and then, uh, you know, we, we they get a couple baskets in the paint, and, and uh, you know, a couple of off, offensive rebounds that we don't secure. So, uh, um, you know, I think it's, you know, it was just a little run there that they hit us with, and 10-0 maybe or eight 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 zero, and and uh, you know that we kind of settled down and just kind of got back to it. Yeah, but kind of feast of famine from the arc this year. You got Luke and, and TJ who are tearing it up, and then some struggles from guys who are hitting the 30s in their career percentage wise. You know, are you happy with the shots they're getting? Is it a matter of keep shooting, or is it things you trying to do to get that rim unlocked for them? Yeah, you know, in Quincy's case, you know, Quincy's been, Quincy had a pretty, pretty nasty wrist deal that he's still kind of fighting, and he kept shooting, and we kept telling him to shoot it. Um, you know, Marcus, I don't worry about it. I mean, that guy, you know, shoots probably too much. Um, and, uh, you know, I, he, he, Marcus is going to make him. He made him in the Marquette game. And, um, you know, he's got, he got good looks tonight and just be, be finding his little comfort zone. Um, you know, it was really good to see Draven hit one. Uh, we see that every single day in practice as he just torches us. Um, and, um, you know, and then I think that, 
Uh, you know, obviously there's a place where we miss, you know, we miss Coleman and pick and pops against a team like that tonight. He played in drop coverage. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's, there's uh, always room for improvement. You never shoot it well enough. And, and uh, uh, we'll continue to tell those guys to keep shooting them. Coach, I know, I know you never want to lose a, a player to an injury, but what is this opportunity to start and maybe play some more minutes done for Dane um, with his confidence? Yeah, uh, and I mean, I think it's 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 not just the confidence; it's it's the way he's done it that's that he knows he that's helped us. It's the things that um, you know, the success and how he's finding it. You know, and it's, it's just doing what we ask and, and rim running and being efficient and staying on the offensive glass. And, and uh, you know, the crazy thing is, we didn't run a play to him. We, just, we ran one baseline out to him. I mean, we didn't run a play to him. Uh, and it, if you just do the right things, things will, success will find you. And, and you know, it's, it's four other guys around there knowing what you're doing every time. And he's, he's finding that success and it's, it's coming with it. So. I hope there's confidence. I hope there's trust. Uh, you know, it gives us a, a, a very lethal um, front court with Coleman, who can pick and pop and and, and do some different things than, than Dane does. But uh, uh, you know, and Coleman has been dragging one leg for for a long time. So hopefully, when when he's back, he's he's able to keep rim running and do the things he did when he first got here. And that's uh, uh, that'll be nice to see. You've mentioned the competition's going to raise a level coming up next week. What do you need to do over the next week to get ready for that? Yeah, it's, we, we talked to our team uh, post game tonight. You know, it's not next Saturday at 3 o'clock. I think that's game time. Uh, it's not when you flip the switch. You know, it's your preparation that, that allows you to be successful in those, in those deals and in those games. And it's a league game. Um, you know, it's getting everybody up to speed to know that there's a different intensity that happens in conference play. Uh, it's really hard to explain, uh, but there's just amped up, you know, and it'll and, and the rack is is definitely going to be amped up. Uh, but uh, uh, we've got to get better. We've got to get a little bit tougher. We've got, you know, our toughness has to travel. Uh, our defense has to travel, and uh, you know, and then we've got to dive into the, the scouting piece of it and find out where maybe there's a hole or two and, and uh, see if we can ex uh, ex exploit it. But uh, we just, uh, you know, got to keep keep doing the simple things. And uh, you know, we practice more of that. You know, doing the same things over and over so we can get really good at it. And, um, you know, we need, our, we need our top 10 defense in, in, in the next few. Brad, third time was a charm with recruit Quincy. How has he lined up to what you expected? And I mean, you've liked him for a long time, and now getting to coach him, how has that lined up with what you thought? Yeah, it's a really good question because the people here, you know, when you when you recruit somebody a long time, like you do high school kids, you really get to know them, and you find out what a wonderful human being Quincy Gurrier is. I mean, rock star. And we've always said we want character. And over characters, and his character as a person um, is infectious. And it's he, he, all he does. He's always got a smile on his face. He's a he's a very mature beyond his his own years. And um, you know, then there's the ability. And you know, you're talking about a young man who I think was a top. I don't know some number. You guys all know the numbers better than me. Top recruit. Um, and. Uh, it's unfortunate he had the little wrist injury because I do think at some point he's going to start making a lot of threes. And then you put that, it was always getting back to rebound. You know, he, I thought he was one of the most tenacious rebounders I saw when we recruited him, and, and you guys know how I like that. Uh, I think he is a world-class defender. I think you put him and Terrence, and I think those guys have the ability to lock people up. Terrence can um, play multiple positions, and, and Quincy's proven that he can do that. But for me, it's... Who he was as a person, um, and then you put that with his ability. He's super athletic, um, and uh, you know we'll uh, we, we hit a home run there. As you get ready, maybe for what could be a challenging December, what kind of foundation do you feel like you laid with these first six games just to build off to that? Yeah, and then, you know I, I I go back even to the 
the two uh, the two exhibitions you know I think we, we found a, a, a really nice balance of, of great great competition top level I mean I mean you know obviously Kansas was one and Marquette and, and then you you've, you've found some games where you can get guys minutes and you can work on combinations and and, and maybe not be overly um, stressed about the outcome but but how you get get to it and, and find those things out so um, yeah I've, I've been I've been really pleased with with this group and I've been really pleased with the, the improvements we've made and um, you know now it's 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 what we really play for is is, is those, those late games and, and and putting ourselves in a position to, to go win Brett, what, how has uh, Coleman responded to these couple weeks of rest? How's that going for him? And what's the key to bringing him back into the fold? Yeah, leg strength. Uh, you know, and I mean, Coleman has been extremely committed, extremely dedicated to getting back. And it, it was, you know, it was it was my decision to hold him. Um, he, it was not his. He wanted to try to keep playing. Um, but over time, when you're when you don't practice effectively. Uh, you're not going to play very effectively, and and we were getting to that point where you know Coleman was spending more time trying to rehab and recover and just get through a practice, and 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 then he wasn't practicing, and so you're going to find inconsistent play throughout. No matter the fact he's a fourth year guy with us, um, so I, I thought we you know these few weeks, these opportunities to 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 get better. Uh, we'll see. I don't know if it, it, if we're, we're we're making progress. I just don't know if we're where we're need, where we need to be yet. But um, um, you know, long term, it was about him being back to a hundred percent because he's been he's been fighting this for quite some time. Yeah. and then Scott. And Scott. <laughs> Anything new with Nico's on on crutches today? Just a foot injury, and we'll keep. Doing with him what we're doing with we've got we've got one of the greatest trainers uh, we've got the one of one recovery room in the world um, I you know I saw Nico today after a two and a half hour nap in the hyperbaric oxygen chamber and and I wish he would sleep in it and uh, um, Coleman's been doing the same thing um, so they they're 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 getting better and we'll just uh, you know we'll have them when, when we have them. This is just something I noticed, but since he had been dressing for games and going through warm-ups even after the announcement that he was going to register and didn't tonight, was there anything, is there anything that I don't know? That That's a great question. <laughs> I didn't even I, I I'm not going to play him, so yeah. I guess maybe just being in sweats and um, but uh, yeah, I probably should know that, but I know I noticed it. I didn't say anything to him, so.